Hi, how you doing? We're back again today to talk about what things to look for before you buy a Mustang. There's a number of underneath problems that Mustangs have. Really, all cars have problems with their undercarriage. If they get uh, wet and they get salty under there, they're going to rust out. But there's a few areas you need to look at on the underneath of an old Mustang that are telltale signs that either previous repairs have been made or things are going to have to happen or it's just a really good car. Uh, one of the areas that we're going to touch on first is up over here where the shock towers are. This is where all the coil spring is, the upper control arm is in this area here, and there's a gully over here that catches a lot of water and debris and uh, sand, and it'll stay moist and it'll rot it out. Take a good look at over there. Another area is this thing here. It's called a fender apron. Uh, it helps hold the fender on there. The problem with this area is that it doesn't necessarily rust, but in a front-end collision, this thing will get creamed really bad and, and uh, smashed up, and they'll have to replace it. Well, if the shop replaces the whole thing, the serial number is stamped on that thing on the early body cars, and you end up losing your serial number. So there's a good, uh, good example of the reason why you need to check out the serial numbers on a Mustang. Make sure that apron hasn't been repaired or replaced to the point where the serial number is gone. If that VIN number is gone, you got some big problems. Here's another spot right here. This thing here, this is called a torque box. Basically what it does is tie this front subframe together with the firewall and the outer rocker. It kind of bridges it together here. They're kind of starting to make it into a full frame car, sort of, kind of, you know. But anyways, because it's kind of a, a box, it's a catch-all for water and sand, another area that could be a problem. As a matter of fact, you can see that this car here does have a rust hole in it from stuff being caught up in there. You can see the sand actually coming out of that thing. So take a good look at that, see if that thing's a, any type of a problem. They, some, some cars I look at, and this is all gone here, it's all rotted away. Take a look at the underneath. This here is called a front frame support. Basically it's supporting the front floor. Take a look at that front subframe to see whether it's still supporting the floor. Take a look at the floor pan itself. I see a lot of stop signs, I see a lot of plywood being made for floor pans. Not a good area. Uh, to, be, to be doing those kind of things too. It's real important that this is strong. As we move further back on these uh, Mustangs, there's another area here. This is called a rear torque box. Basically it's where the front of the leaf spring bolts to. It's a box here that's anchored to the floor pan, anchored to the outer rocker, and the leaf spring joins into it. Real crucial area. Make sure this is a good spot here. Take a look at it. Tap on it. You know, I mean, just, just look and make sure it's not in a bad spot and not, not in bad shape. Another area is where the rear of the leaf spring bolts to, the rear frame rail. What happens is, same thing, water, debris, dirt gets caught up inside here, and you'll actually start seeing it crack right here and start bulging out if it starts to get bad. Take a look at that. It's real easy to just take a peek underneath here. Take a look at the trunk floor. Take a look at the side drop that comes down. You can see how this here is kind of rotted away on this particular car. Uh, so that's a pretty good example of an area to look at. Um, so point being is, take a look at the underneath of the Mustang. Get down on your hands and knees and take a look, or shine a mirror underneath there, or get some sort of a rack to put the thing up on to take a look, because you're going to be spending a lot of Mustang, a lot of money for a Mustang, and uh, because of that, you don't want to be spending money after the fact. And we're talking not hundreds of dollars, but thousands of dollars to fix some of these issues here. So take a good look at it. If you got any questions at all, you can always call me and I'll try and fill you in on some other particulars depending upon what year you got. Until next time, uh, go to my website, mustangrestoration.net or go to usefordmustangsforsale.net uh, if you're looking to buy or sell a Mustang. A lot of good information on there, cool pictures of old Mustangs. Until next time, take it easy.